SoCal gas prices are unfortunately hitting record highs. Yeah, here's a look at the numbers, or maybe you just want to cover your eyes <laughs> and hear about the numbers. The average price for a gallon of gas in LA County is 646. Orange County went down about a cent from yesterday. Now it's 642. The average price in Ventura County is 640. KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedine live this morning in downtown LA with the very latest. Tina. Yeah, I almost don't want to be the bearer of bad news either. Uh, so let me just uh, begin by saying it's a tough time uh, in LA County real, in all of uh, California for these gas prices. Uh, but uh, it, the news now this morning is that we have hit the record that we set back in June for these all time high gas prices. So this is quite significant because we are basically back to where we were and have hit a record in LA County. I want to also point out in Orange County, County. The numbers now just also coming in. Orange County is one penny shy from hitting its record as well. That was set back in June. So you can get an indication of where we were then and we saw prices dip and now we're unfortunately going back up again. I'm downtown live and the gas station here behind me, the Shell, uh, its price point for the regular unleaded is at $7 and for premium, it's at $7.40. High gas prices we're seeing on all counties. And with me now is Doug Chu with AAA to basically talk about why. We've talked now this morning about the refineries uh, going offline and doing uh, planned and unplanned maintenance. So that's really contributing to what's going on. It's the main reason why we've seen these spikes at the pump prices. A string of both planned and unplanned maintenance issues at the refineries has really squeezed our fuel inventories here in California and all across the West Coast. In fact, the Energy Information Administration is reporting that West Coast fuel inventories are at their lowest level in a decade. You know, you mentioned uh, West Coast. So I think a lot of people say, well, why is it that California always has such crazy prices when you look at, uh, by comparison, the East Coast, um, you know, and other places as well when we do have access uh, to the pipeline? So, uh, if you can clarify and simplify that for yeah, our viewers absolutely. as well. Absolutely. You know, unfortunately, we're used to paying higher pump prices here yep. in California. We're like a fuel island. So we have a special blend of fuel that we have to use here in California. We don't get product from a gas pipeline coming from other states. We rely on that special product that is produced by our local refineries or imports from overseas, primarily Asia. When our local refineries have issues, it could take weeks for those imports to arrive. And in the meantime, our supply gets squeezed and our pump prices increase. It's all supply and demand. And that's what we're seeing now, too. There's a lot of factors that are that are going on here as well. Um, a lot of people have heard over uh, the course of the of the year, um, you know, the, the rebate, the California rebate, the checks that are expected to come. Uh, that we still that's could be a ways out, but we can't rely on that because right now the main thing we have to hope for is that this, you know, winter blend uh, kicks in soon, but primarily that these refineries get back online. 100%. You're right. It's making sure or hoping that these refineries are fully operational again and getting the product out to hopefully, you know, lessen this squeeze on our inventories and bring these prices down. So I think quickly when people say, okay, well, this could be political and why didn't the governor step in or this person step in and, uh, you know, make sure that this plan maintenance was not another time to that, you say. Well, I mean, you know, these these refineries typically do uh, their planned maintenance in the springtime before the busy summer driving season. And but then we had the, Ukraine. And yes, everything. the demand was very high. The prices were very high. They were putting out the product. And so it was this month that some of that maintenance had to be done. I mean, it has to be done in order to continue to get this product out there. It just was an unfortunate time because the planned maintenance happened at a time that we had some unplanned refinery outages. So I, I think the, maybe the one thing that we could have seen is that that this was going to be the result because whenever there's supply and demand the prices peak so maybe we could have seen a little bit coming but what are you going to do well and of course you never know when you're going to have some flaring at a refinery that's going to cause an unplanned shutdown yeah. Um, thank you for that. So uh, we've talked a lot about not knowing and, and, and things that are a little bit out of our control, but uh, things that do tend to make us better are what we can do um, for our control. And that those are some measures um, that you can take in as an individual uh, driver. So here are some tips. Uh, keep your car well maintained. Remove any unnecessary items and lower the weight. Obey the speed limits because when you drive faster, it uses more gas. 
And here's an interesting tip. Park in the shade or use a sun visor. And basically what that does is that it reduces the amount of air conditioning that you're going to use, thus saving gas uh, when you're having to cool down your car. And especially when we've had these uh, record heat uh, waves as well. Uh, so record heat, then you've got record prices for gas, a, a variety of factors coming into play. We are here for you to explain it all. And we'll have live updates with more throughout the morning. Reporting live downtown, I'm Tina Ezzedine, KCAL 9 News. All right, Tina. Thank you.